When you change and grow and get better, everything in your life will change and grow and get better. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, we're reminded that life will change for the better only when we change ourselves for the better. Enjoy. It was hard for me to give up my old blame list. It was so comfortable blaming the government and blaming my negative relatives and prices and circumstances and all that. That was difficult for me to give up. That was quite a transition for me to make. But Mr. Shove started out with something very, very important. Let me give that to you. He said, it's not what happened that determines the major part of your future. It's not what happens. What happens, happens to us all. He said, the key is what you do about it. It's not what happens, it's what you do about it. At some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions. And also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Deciding to decide, to act. Now listen to me, a lot of people you meet in life will talk it. You need to understand that what I'm about to tell you to do, I did it, I lived it. So if you wanna make six figures, you can't just be talking about you wanna make six figures. You hear what I'm saying to you tonight? But I'm telling you, in order to do that, you got to go deep. And he said, if you will start that process of change, do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days, like picking up the books to read. Do something different, like the new health disciplines, relationship with your family, whatever it is, doesn't matter how small it is. If you'll start doing different things with the same circumstances, since we cannot change the circumstances, but we can change ourselves. We can change what we do. And there are things that happen to us along the way, experiences that we have that prevent us from working through the mental block of acting, of doing those things that we know we ought to do. And so what I want you to think about is what is there that you know you need to do, that you want to do this, but for some reason or another, you've been holding back. For some reason or another, you just have not been able to gather your nerves or be able to work through the procrastinating or putting it off or justifying or blaming. Some reason or another, you just haven't done it. And you know you ought to do this. You really want to do this, but you don't know why you haven't done it. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it better than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. And then he gave me another secret to success when he said, what you have at the moment, Mr. Rohn, you've attracted by the person you've become. Few little simple principles here. Once you understand these, it starts to explain so much. Now, sometimes it's a little tough to take blaming yourself instead of the marketplace taking responsibility instead of putting it off on someone else. Those, that transition sometimes is a challenging mission. And this one was a little tough for me. He said, Mr. Owen, you've got pennies in your pocket. You've got nothing in the bank. The creditors are calling. You're behind on your promises. And he says, here's how that occurs. You've attracted, up until now, you've attracted the things to you because of the person you've become. Now I said, well, how can I change all that? He said, very simple. If you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. All you've got to change is what's inside. Now, first of all, we know that this is not easy. Because in order to begin to reinvent your life, you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. That you really have got to put all of yourself into it. It's very challenging to act. To do those things, there are times when you're looking at it and you say, I, I know I need to do this, but I don't feel like it. I don't want to do it. So what do we do? What are those things that, that cause us to do like that? I think that among the things that prevent us 
from acting is the fear of failure. And if you've already failed, you don't want to fail again. The pain of that, the disappointment. To have more, you simply have to become more. And then he said, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Wish for more skills. Start working on yourself, making these personal changes. And he said, it'll all change for you. Many of us don't act because we want other people's approval. We want everybody to like us and to accept us. And that's not possible. Many of us don't do the things that we want to do and don't act because of lack of self-confidence. We don't believe enough in ourselves. I have a friend who's been working on a job where she's miserable, talented, want to go to another place that she can do what she wants to do and make the kind of money that she would like to make and had some offers. But because of her fear and her lack of self-confidence of things might not work out, she won't take a chance on herself. So there she is spending eight hours a day, five days a week, and she's miserable. She hates to go to work. They're not paying her what she's worth, she knows it. But yet and still, she won't do that which she knows she must do and it's wearing her out. There are a lot of people that their jobs are making them sick because they won't act. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Some of you, you focus until the phone ring. I'm saying to you today that there are some of you, if you give up your cell phone, you would be successful. Some of you need to give up your cell phone because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the cell. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. I'm talking about going deep now, giving up stuff. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.